Hello, people. Let's see. I can never tell if I actually hit the start button at the right time. Or am I just talking to myself? I don't know. Oops. Says I'm live. Says I'm live. I forgot to tell my friends that I'm going live. Oh, there's my voice. Hello, my dark voice. Not a dark voice, it's a deep voice. <laughs> All righty. How's everybody doing tonight? Busy day ahead today. Let me just um, <clears throat> adjust my... Oh, there we go. Laptop so I can actually see it. And I need to just tell my friends that I'm here. La 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 la, where am I? Okay, I can't reach it from here. <laughs> Excuse me, one second. Oops. Alrighty, so tonight I'm going to work on something fun. I have um, one of the, a transfer I've been waiting to do. I just... I wanted to be more creative with it, but I really also want to see it. And so rather than wait until I can figure out, boy, look at behind me. What a hot mess that is. That's all of my crap that keeps oozing out of, um, it keeps oozing out of the bags that I have them stored. And oh, just hit the, just hit the camera. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. One second. Um, Okay, so working on the Bonjour transfer using a white palette board. All right, come on over. All right. Now, normally I could reach it. I can't reach it from this angle that I'm that I'm at, so I have to. Hi Joyce. Is that Cody? Hi Cody. Here I am. It's going to be a nice one tonight. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do something with lots of colors because I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this, the detail that I want. I really wanted to put this on, um, I had an idea to put it on a, I can get, I can't find my words. What am I thinking? Uh, lampshade. <laughs> I thought it would be look, I thought it would look nice on a lampshade. Um, but I can't find the, the, the right one. I, my ears are on tonight. Yep. It's a long day. So when I had the more bags I have, the more um, fake makeup I feel like I need <laughs> to make myself uh, remotely presentable. <clears throat> so, all right, there we go. Much better, much better. All right, so I'm going to be using purple and green. And there's, let me just fix my seat. All right, this is the transfer. It says bonjour. And it has a like a like a, a postal service stamp from France and a bird and some lilacs. I think that those are lilacs. That's what my lilacs kind of look like. So we'll see. So that's what's gonna be. That's what I'm gonna be working on. I'm very excited because I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. Okay, so um, how's everybody doing? Did anybody get out in the beautiful weather today in the area? It was gorgeous. I actually went and I um made a delivery to um, Cheryl, who is somewhere, she might even be here somewhere tonight. <clears throat> um, and so she bought stuff from the VIP group because they have a sale going on in the VIP group, some good deals over there. If you're not in the VIP group, let me know. I'll send you a link and you can join and see the kind of things. I had some stuff left over from the Country Living Fair. And so um, I have some product there for a good deal. So if you want in on that, let me know. If you're in the group and you haven't seen it, I think that I pinned it. If not, it's right there in, in the top. Uh, I think it was like the last two posts I made in there. So you can find the information or look in the photos because I have pictures of it as well. So if anybody's interested in that, I dropped some, uh, I dropped the sample tray off at Trackside, which is now Share the Love Cafe on Main Street. So if you want to actually see the tray, that we're going to be making in that class um, on the 22nd, you can stop by and share the love and you can take a look at it and see if it's something that you're interested in. Um, so yeah, and there's a uh, um, little flyer there that you can pick up as well. So hi, Maria. Hey girl, thanks for stopping by. Um, oh, I'll send you the link, Joyce. Absolutely not a problem. I'll send you a link to that. <clears throat> um, 
Yeah, Facebook. I was using ManyChat and Facebook Messenger to send out information when I have stuff um, like specials going on, but they're now making us pay for them. So it kind of negates the, the purpose. So I'm trying to figure out creative ways to dance around the new Facebook rules. You know, how they have that their, their, their artificial intelligence can hear me say the word share. I said that word now, so probably nobody else is going to see this video because I use the word. So I use different terms. So I'll say something like, if you want to send this out into the Facebook world, I'd appreciate that. That is my code for click the little share button. Um, I was doing the hashtag thing and, um, you know, doing the hashtag and then doing a drawing at the end. And if I do that, they're, they're, they're pegging the words. So I'm trying to get creative. I actually printed up a whole list and I have it here. Okay. So it's a whole list of other words that I can use that Facebook won't peg me on. So yeah, instead of saying comment, which is another trigger word, which I'm sure now more people, less people are going to see my video. I can say things like, give us your thoughts. Use the magic word, elaborate, make us, uh, let me know what you think. So there's all kinds of, it's, they make us dance through hoops as if, you know, Facebook isn't making enough money off of us. Anyway, on that happy note, I am going to turn the camera down and we're going to get started on the bonjour. Oh, I need Maria. I need the whiskers. Yeah. This time of day I do. You're very, very kind. <laughs> My sister and I, we joke and I have what, what we call the gatto eyes. My, uh, my grandmother was from, my great grandmother was from Italy. Her name was Santina Gatto and she just had dark, just like the dark circles under the eyes. And so the more tired we are and, uh, the more, the more we have them. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I have Gatto eyes tonight. And this particular little app gives me like cheeks and really cute eyeliner. I could never do my makeup like that. Like never. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera down and we're going to get started. So if you get nauseous with the motion sickness, look away for a second. Cause now you're upside down. And face them down. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Give us a nice good work area here. I don't need it too big because I'm just working on a 9 by 12. That's going to be fun. Oops. It gets the upside down. Too funny. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Your grandma was from Sicily. Really, Maria? Ah, I can tell by that nice last name. <laughs> you can't tell by any of my names that have any Italian in me at all. My maiden name is Ross. My father was um, Scottish, Scotch-Irish. Been here in the North American continent since the 1700s, the early 1700s up in Canada. And um, my mom, her maiden name was Niola. My grandmother was German and Italian. Um, her mother, my great grandmother, was uh, from Nabulatan, and my grandfather was my great grandfather was from Germany. So yeah, okay. So yes, yeah, a lot of ethnicity. I, I joke and I say, if you're from Brooklyn, it doesn't matter. You're Italian. It's just the way it is. You're just loud Italians. Ever seen Moonstruck? That was my world growing up. Okay. <laughs> so okay. So this is the Chocator palette board. I actually had a, um, I did chalk this and I wanted to see if I could clean it off because it says that it's not washable. And in fact, it was washable. Um, I have this little mark here that I'm not too happy about, but, um, that was because I left a, um, one of those Lysol wipes. I left it sitting on there and it left a mark. So I could probably sand that out, but from the angle here, it looks like, um, it's going to be covered. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So this has been treated with a little bit of finishing wax because I don't want my transfer to get ruined on this. Um, even still, sometimes with this newer transfer, some of the white comes off onto the green uh, adhesive of the transfer, but you don't have to worry about it because it's so far I've not had one get ruined um, with that. It just it looks like it's not gonna work, and when I clean it off, it's absolutely fine. Um, okay, so I put the B on the back, we know, because when I peel the transfer off, I want to make sure when I put it back that it's going to be on the proper side of this backing sheet. For those of you who have not been here or are stopping by as my uh, loud Brooklyn, New York accent starts coming through your feed, <laughs> what I'm doing here, okay, first of all, I'm trying to peel this off and it's not cooperating. Really? Didn't I just have it peeled off? Come on. It's, <laughs> that's too funny. It usually comes right off. Not a problem. What's going on here? Come on. 
There we go. Okay, this is called Chalk Couture, and this is an adhesive back silk screen transfer. I'm going to peel the backing off of this very thin transfer, and you can see the opening here. That is a silk screen. The green area is the adhesive part. And what we do is we peel this transfer from the backing, and then we're going to put some fuzz on it, which is from my new uh, pack of uh, flower, towel, flower sack towels. Anything that has lint will work. This one will work really nice because it's brand new and it hasn't been washed. So it's got all that perfect uh, texture lint that needs to go on the back of my transfer. So I see a bunch of people here. Give me some thumbs up and hearts so that I know that you're here. Say hello. Facebook loves when people just say hello. You don't have to have a whole conversation with me. But if the more people say hello, the more Facebook shows and it will make up for the uh, taboo words that I used not uh, just a few minutes ago. Okay, so I put some lint on the back here, and I'm going to put it right on to my palette board. These are our palette boards, which is really cool because the, the line here you can see, but it's very, very tight. So it's not going to be so much of an issue with the paste getting into the little opening there that you might get in a non chalk um, palette board. It gives it a nice palette look but you don't have the issues of it bleeding through um, as much. And this is a B transfer. This is in stock. It is $14.99. Okay, and like always, I say, if you place an order, please let me know because I will. Um, I have little starter kits that are very affordable in my VIP group in which um, you don't have to purchase everything from the website you can let me know it is more affordable for you to get uh, transfers especially the larger ones to order them straight from the company and then just reach out to me and I'll I'll hook you up with the other stuff that you need and give you a good price on that but I can't do it here see you Maria thank you for stopping by hon I really appreciate it um, uh, I can't put them here because Facebook frowns on that so it's what they do so you let me know if you want info on the VIP group. Just put in there VIP information. Okay, here's my purple. Um, and I'll get that information to you. So what I want to do is I want to do the flowers purple. I want this to be a darker color. I'm really going to try to uh, keep, it, <laughs> keep it as detailed as I can. I have my, my bucket of squeegees, which really helps me to be able to um, get into these smaller areas. I'm going to dig around in here. I have all my little cut ones here. These are just the mini trend, um, the mini sized squeegees that I've cut into smaller pieces in halves or in thirds, just so that I can get into more detailed areas. And so I'm going to do the peel and dry method. So I'm going to paste, I'm going to peel it, I'm going to let it dry. Um, and then I'm going to lay the transfer down so that I don't have to worry about it smudging. All right, so here we go. I think I'm going to put the camera light on as well. I did that the other day, and it really did help you guys to see a little bit better. All right, here we go. Where is my... <clears throat> okay. I need my multi-tool, and I just... These are just dried... Uh, dried Lysol wipes that I use to wipe things off with. Okay, so here's my paste, and my paste is looking good. I've really been trying to take care of my pastes. Whenever I'm done with a paste, I give it a good stir, I give it a quick spray of distilled water, and it stays this nice consistency, and it helps to avoid the chalk boogers that I call them on the side, these little hard clumps that get onto the side of the, trans of the paste. I want to avoid that. All right, I'm going to start with my flowers. Here we go. Um, uh oh, oh, here it is. Okay. Blue painters tape is our friend. I put it on places where I don't want the paint to go. And this is not going to be exact because our transfers are not really exact. You know, it is, they are going to run into one another. I can't expect it to look like I've actually, you know, painted with a paintbrush, but I just put this over, putting it over the little branches that I don't want to have purple because I really want them to be brown. I want to see if I can do it. I've seen some others done this way, so I am challenging myself to see if I can get that done. Um, let's put that over here. That looks like it's a word. So, Okay, so that's the area that I want to be purple and a little bit of white, actually, because I want it to be like a, like a layered look. 
I guess. All right, see here, another great consistency of my paste. Just gonna give it a quick little stir. Look at that, that's beautiful. Thank you, Ken Hess. I know I shouldn't be plugging other designers, but Ken Hess is amazing, he really is. Ken's Creations, both with a K. If you ever are looking for inspiration of all kinds of crafts, not just talk -a tour, Ken is a go-to guy. And he told me, he didn't tell me, but he said on one of his videos, the be best way to take care of your pastes. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of do this. I want it to mostly be purple, but I don't really want it to be like a complete hot mess. I don't want it to be all marbled. I want it to be a little bit more controlled. Okay, I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'm going to use the white. Okay, and so I'm hoping that that's going to give like a lavender kind of look. Because I know I'm working on white and it's kind of silly almost to use white on with this purple. But I think, I'm hoping that you'll be able to see what I mean. Look, I got purple in my white. Nah, nah, nah. Whatever, I'll pull it out later. Okay, so there's that. And I'm just going to take a small squeegee. I'm going to scrape off the excess of that. See how it's kind of looking? Maybe it's looking a little bit like lilacs, possibly. Oops, I pulled the paste, the paste off. Okay. This is purple enough for me to put it there. I'm okay with that. And I'm just going to lift this up so that it dries. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Believe it or not, that's what it's supposed to look like. You'll see when we get all the other colors on there. It's going to look nice. All right, I'm just going to peel that off and I'm going to let that dry for a couple of seconds. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's all we really need there. All right, this is feeling a little sticky. Okay, so I'm not worried about it pressing down where I've already put the purple. That's why this multi-tool is really useful. I'm not going to press that down. It doesn't need to be pressed down. I see a tiny little spot. Okay, that, that can be brown. All right, now I'm going to do some of the green. And I'm hoping to do... Hi, Scarlett. How are you, dear? Thanks for stopping by. Working on my bonjour. Bonjour. That sounded very Southern. That didn't really sound Brooklyn, did it? Bonjour. How would we say that in Brooklyn? Bonjour. Now I sound like Joey Tribbiani from Friends. <laughs> so how you doing? <laughs> yeah, Joey Tribbiani. Okay, I have my green here. I'm just mixing it up just like the other ones. Everything's looking good as far as the spray before you close your jar up after you use it. It's looking really good. That's really working nicely to keep my paste all nice and fresh. Yes, I did get that in there. That's a little bit bothersome. Okay, so now this is cleaned off for the most part, and I want to use this one again to do pretty much the same kind of procedure. I want to put a little dark, a little light on these leaves here. Okay, so this little multi-tool it's like $8. It's, it's such a good deal. You really can get very creative and you can get into smaller areas with the multi-tool. The little squeegees will work as well. You see, I'm not really, I'm just putting a little of the darker. The smaller squeegees will work good, but this has the handle and the handle here is actually hard. So, it works kind of like a pen almost, and it helps me to be able to get these the details in the little in the little the little spots, the littler spots. Okay, so I'm just gonna see a little spot there, not good. Okay. Take the extra off. All right. 
whitey. And I am going to peel this off because I want to get some detail with the brown. That's part of the uh, part of the branch. So I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to peel this off and let that dry as well. Okay, there are my little leaves. It's hard to see it all together yet, but you'll see when it's done. It's going to look cool. It's a small area, so it doesn't take much with the blow dryer to get it to dry. Oh, I, apparently my volume is up on my phone. So I'm just pressing down where I'm going to put the brown. That little bit over there is a branch also. And if I don't press it down, what will happen is it will bleed under. And we want to, you know, I'm trying to avoid that. Okay. Now I need to get some brown. Brown. This is my faux brown. No, this is the real brown. This is the real thing. I have that other brown that's white. That's lighter because other colors got mixed into it. Um, maybe I'll use a little bit of that. Hmm, that might be interesting to give it a little bit of depth with that too. I am using a lot of paste tonight. I love it. I love it. This one's getting a little bit, no, nope, that's pretty good still. It's getting a little bit thicker. When I spray that down when I'm done, it'll be, it'll be awesome. All right, one second. Uh, I just need to clean this off. I'm just cleaning off the um, uh, the what is this thing called? The I can't speak <laughs> the squeak the mini multi tool. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I don't know what is wrong with me. Ah yeah 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 yeah. I know what it is. It's menopause. I call it menopause brain. Menopause brain is awful. It's just, what is my computer doing? There, okay. It just, um, I can't find my words. I feel like I have had like a stroke or something. Um, the word is like on the tip of my tongue and it, it's just, it just doesn't show up. All right, that's all cleaned off, okay. And I don't, and, and I've been told that it's menopause, so that's what I'm going with. Why I had that problem when I was 20, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so these are the different color browns that I'm gonna use. And just that little branch there. I don't know why that looks white there. Weird. Huh. Looks like it's coming through. Okay. That's all right. So this, um, there's another French one that we have, another French transfer that we have that I want to do. It, um, it is the Eiffel Tower. So I'm excited to do that one as well. That's going to be really fun to do. Don't know if that brown is going to make any difference there, but I'm going to try to see because those are kind of smaller areas. Okay, so I'm just like putting little dots here and there of this darker brown and then I'm going to take some of the lighter brown and I'm just going to mix it together the way I did with the purple and the greens to see if it'll give a little bit more depth to the transfer when it's done. I'm thinking that it will, but I can just keep an eye on making sure I'm sticking to the branches here. All right, I believe that those are all the branches on this side. So I'm just gonna peel it off and see what we have going here. I see that brown is, ugh, that was a little drip. So I want to do some other things with this transfer, but I kind of got myself so, so stuck. Do you ever find that you're so creative? You want to be so creative that you just can't take the next step to do what you need to do. It's like you want to make it look gorgeous, but then you just have so many ideas in your head. You can't choose one. That's kind of like where I was with this one here. All right, let's see what happened here. Oh, there we go. All right. So now you can see the leaves and the branches. Nice, very, very nice. All right, I'm gonna dry this off. Okay, you wanna try to avoid 
the blow dryer blowing hot onto your transfer because it can actually shrink it and melt it if it is too close to the if it is too close to the um uh, to the transfer itself because it, it is a fabric but it's also like a like a like a poly fabric so it can indeed melt again going around to the sections where okay so there's a little bit of I'm thinking that that is part of a viney thing that's what I'm going with there because it looked like a line that I missed and it looked like it could have been a vine or part of the branch it's kind of both, so that worked out well. All right, there we go. So there's that. Okay. Press it down where I want this to, oops, where do I want this to go? Okay. See, all in here, you can't see from your angle, but from my angle, parts of it were not pressed down. So if you're not careful, what will happen is You'll miss it, and then the, the paste will just go right underneath the transfer, and that would not be good. Okay, so now I'm going to work on these leaves here. Uh, cleaning off my multi-tool. All right. Now, I want to use a different green. <laughs> just so that it can be a little bit different. Oh, I knocked my paste all over the place. This one just has a little bit of a different color because it's a different kind of plant. And I'm gonna work my way here. And again, I do see some branches here as well. So I wanna put a little brown there. But I'm gonna do this first. That color is awfully close to the one that I chose. That's okay. I'm going to take some of this dark one here too. You see how creative you can get? I mean, I've seen some that are so, so detailed. They're beautiful. And yet it's just as lovely if you're doing it monochrome. If you did this just white on a black background, it looks just as lovely. It really does to get that one look. Okay, so these things in here are words. So I'm going to be coloring those in black. So I'm not concerned about those at the moment. I am just going to take the excess off and move it down here. Yep, this is another. That is another little leaf. Okay. Sometimes it's hard for me to talk when I'm doing this. <laughs> Shocking, right? I'm one of those people that can't walk and talk at the same time. Forget it. If I was the kind of person to walk around with my cell phone, I would make it to one of those crazy videos where the poor woman is walking in the mall and falls in the water. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. All right, so here we go. Get into the rest of this. Wah, 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 wah. Probably could have fuzzed this a little bit more. It is pulling just a little bit more than I like. Certainly is not going to ruin it. Okay, so there's that little leafy section. But this is smooth, and the smoother the surface, of course, the more you want to um, fuzz your transfer. And that's all it takes. The paste dries super quick. There we go. All righty. All right, taking my tool here. Oh, I just stuck my hand in the paste. That was good. <clears throat> Thanks, Joyce. I think it is looking pretty. I think it is. I think this is going to look very nice. Um, I might want to put it in my bathroom. Um, I'm thinking of the ways that I'm going to be redoing the bathroom, my living room. Everything's getting redone. That's one of the things that I'm working on for my website is to chronicle how my husband and I are going to be um, not renovating as much as just updating and redecorating because our kids are just about all done with their life here at home. And so, um, everything in our house needs to be updated. Nothing is like, you know, destroyed and falling apart, but it's just, we've had so many kids and we've lived here for 11 years and the kids were very young when they, when we moved in. And so, um, my dark brown is over here. So we need to be updating. 
and I want to do the work myself because I love doing this stuff, but I'm, oh, look, that put too much, whoops. I'm not really so uh, experienced with, um, with interior design. I'm just not. I never lived in a place long enough to really uh, be able to decorate it and make it my own. And I figured, well, I'm here 10 years, 11 years. I might as well start. <laughs> May as well. Why not? Okay, so here's a little bit tricky. I know that I don't need to be this detailed, but I started it this way. So I want to try to finish it this way. I can see his little feet. I don't know if you can see his feet from where you guys are. Taking a little bit of the dark now. All right. His feet are kind of like wrapped around a piece of the wood there. So, and this is one of the things that it helps to have the jars of paste. I love my little individual pastes, but to have the jars of paste where they're just all open, all easily accessible. It really works out nice. If you are a person who would maybe be into chalk couture, wanting to make regular home decor things for your house or for gifts and stuff, the jars of paste are such a great investment. They go a long way. They're 13 bucks and they really do go a long, long way. You can make lots of presents. All right, so, oops. I'm going to peel this from the bottom here. There we go. Oops. Yes, that's where I was, that's where I went to. Okay. Just want to try to keep it all in order. There we go. And let gently lay this back here. Move the project up a little so you can see it better. All right, I just want to make sure. All right, we're getting there, huh? Now, I want to make the bird like blue and brown. Does that sound weird? But in my mind, I see birds that are that have blue but they're blue and gray and brown. And so I have, where is my, um, this is fawn and this is ocean mist. And so, and where is the other, this gray that I have and storm. So I'm going to be using these colors and the brown also, because for some reason in my head, that's what it should look like. And his little feet are going to be, um, actually yellowy a yellow kind of color I have this and this orange I'm, I wanted to mix these together I'm really getting crazy fancy here but I'm excited to be able to finally mess with this transfer because I'm having fun with it already look at all the paste I have I have all the paste out all right I'll cover these <laughs> so because I'm running out of room <laughs> all right there we go there we go. My little spatulas are so useful and they just go right into the water and wash off. Ah, what a beautiful day it was here in Northeastern PA. I went out, ran some errands, I got the sunshine on my face because guess what people? It's gonna rain tomorrow. I know that is shocking for the people that live in the Northeast area that it's actually going to be raining. I hope it comes out okay. I hope it does. We'll see where we are. <laughs> I have a vision in my head. It's a vision, I tell you. All right, so here is the brown, the storm, that's fawn, which is like a cream color. And this is a little bit of the blue. I need to clean off my squeegee, my um, multi-tool. All right, so this is all cleaned off and ready to go. And I have... This little bit of orange and yellow and brown. I know it's going to be a little weird, but that's in my head. That's what his little feet are going to look like. I don't know what kind of bird this is that I'm seeing. It's like the multicolored toucan bird. You know, the bird from uh, Fruit Loops. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a little bit more subdued. Okay, so I'm going to take some gray. I'm going to take some storm. and just kind of like... Draw it down like that. That's a little tail. 
in the bottom part of him. Now the transfer already has a bunch of lines in it. So I need to be careful to make sure that the colors are going where there's, uh, where the transfer part is, that I'm not overly doing the colors on this dark green spot because then it's not going to show up. So a little bit of a trick there, I guess. Um, that's his little feet are there. Okay. I just didn't want him to all be brown the way the branch is brown. Oh, that really needs to be wiped off because I wanted his little body to stand out. So here's the blue I'm going to put in there too. Okay. And you can see where it's just kind of, it's just enough. It's subtle. Okay. So I guess it is kind of still ending up to be that hot mess kind of look, but oh well. I'm going to now get a smaller squeegee. I have a small one here. I cut that. I want one that's even smaller. Okay. And so there we go. That's well, very detailed over here, but I want to leave room for the word bonjour. So hopefully, and again, I'm going to be put, doing the peel and dry. So I'm going to peel this up and we'll see if, we'll see if it worked in my mind, it worked. <clears throat> Cleaning this off again, taking a little bit of that and a little bit of that, putting that here. And a little brown. I know I'm really mixing up my colors here, which I really should not be doing. But it is, it wasn't enough for me to make like a new color. So I'm just kind of like mixing up just enough because I know his feet are just so little here. It's not going to need a lot in there. And again, whether this works, his little foot is here and that's his little leg. Okay, that's starting to dry, so that has got to be peeled off there. Oh, okay. Let's see what she got. Let's see what we got. Oh, look how cute. All right. I can see his little tail and his body there. That worked. Okay, we'll see. I could have done a blue jay. I could have. He doesn't have a blue jay face, though. <laughs> I don't know what rain is. Oh, the rain is just crazy. Alrighty. Yeah, this weather. But it could be worse. That's what I always try to I try to say, I try to stay positive. Could be worse. Could be living living where there's a drought. I mean, where my my daughter in law's family is in California. I think there's been a drought there for like 14 years. They're in mid, uh, central California in the Napa Valley, but not the valley itself, which when we were there in September was well, the valley itself was really quite green. But the area around it was it was just so sad because everything was burned from those terrible fires. They almost lost their vineyard in the fire. That was terrible. Not a good experience at all for them. Okay, so I'm going to cover that. When, when I'm off screen, I'm going to clean out these pastes. Uh, what I do is I just take a squeegee or a, a spatula and just scoop a little bit of color out. If I feel that it's um, not significant, that it's going to change the color, I'll just absorb it into the pot. I'm okay with that. All right. So now I'm going to do the rest of his body and that little bit of his beak in that little bit that I have left over. Okay. With the same, uh, format, the same formula, I guess. So I took some of this Brown and I put the Brown, I mean the gray, sorry. Oops. I thought that was going to do that a little bit more. All right. And Boy, so when is school out in this area? My, my, my nieces are in school until the 26th of June. They're into school late. They had a lot of ice days out on Long Island, New York. Um, so this is some of the blue. And I want a little bit more blue, this like blue gray up by its head. So I don't know when school is out in this area because I have not had any kids in this school for quite a while. And here I am just pulling it down. You can see it really is going to be mostly like gray and blue up there. 
And that's okay because birds do have like that. I don't know. Different colors? <laughs> sure, Donna. That's what I'm going with. Different colors. Alrighty. There we go. This little body is ready to go. Okay. And I'm going to use pretty much the blue. This pale blue by his face. Up to his little beak. It's my own brand of bird. I'm going to, I'm going to copyright my brand, my colored bird. Let's see. <laughs> Who knows? I only need a tiny bit of that color that I made here to do his little beak. Because his beak and his little feet are going to match. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see what the damage is. Oops, this one. <clears throat> All righty. I know I'm not talking a lot because I'm paying attention to the detail. I want to make sure it's all covered. All right, let's see what kind of bird we got. What kind of bird? Yeah, Cody, we don't know what rain is. What do we know what rain is? Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, before that dries, I'm going to take my little, I'm going to clean up his little beak there if I can. All right, it's gonna be a little darker. I don't know if it should be a little darker. Yeah, it is what it is. All righty. Okay, then over here is going to be. Um, what do we have here? I have this dark green that I used. Because I like the way it looks with the dark green. You know, probably maybe I could have maybe maybe I could have made that a um, a red bird, but I don't think like with the whole bonjour French theme, I feel like I feel like the red would have been too much. I might, I could be wrong. When I do this again, you'll know. I'll do it with red instead. Uh oh, that has to be flattened down, like a little um. What's What's the name of the red bird? I know there's the blue jay. I missed this leaf over here. There is a blue jay. Why is it that I cannot recall the name of the red bird? What's the name of the red bird? Cody, do you know? Are you still here? Do you know the name of the red bird? My brain. It's the one that's super red. And they are, it's a songbird and they often fight with blue jays actually because they're not exactly the nicest birds from what I can from what I know about birds which isn't really that much okay I'm just putting a different color green here just so we can get a little bit of this depth going on here alrighty and I'm just gonna scoop it together scrape it together there we go all right wish I would have chosen a darker color for the bird I may I may go over that with a little bit of a darker blue, a brighter blue, maybe. I wanted it to be subdued the way, you know, the vintage French designs are. I'm probably not going to mess with it. I always overly criticize the things that I do. I think we all, all people are prone to do that. Hmm. All right, let's see. Here we go. I love how all I have to do is just peel it up. And ta-da, there's a picture. So cool. Gives me the detail without all the work. Friday already. Wow. Yep. Who's out? It's that Alice Cooper song, School's Out Forever. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yep. I know you're saying, Donna, you said you weren't going to sing to us anymore. <laughs> That's the little leafy thing there. All righty. Now, I'm going to try to... I don't need to press it down too hard. I want to lift it up. I want to keep it lined up here. All right. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's dry. So I'm not too concerned about pressing this down. Oop, spread a little bit of that. There we go. 
And the reason it is so stiff, the reason it looks so stiff in that area is because the paste is on there and the paste is dry. Now, you know, the paste drying on that is not going to ruin it. If this was ink, it would be a different story, but the paste is not going to ruin the transfer. I'm going to put it in the, in the bath water and it's going to clean it off right away without a problem. It may leave some stain on the transfer, but it's not going to ruin the transfer in any way. That is the magic of the Chalk Couture. So I sent out a notice. My Facebook, my uh, YouTube pay, uh, channel is all up and running. Every day now, I'm all caught up with um, uploading the videos that I've done, the demos that I've done here. I thought I did more. It feels like I did more. But it was not so. Um, <clears throat> but I have them uploaded. I just, I'm waiting to just do the, uh, the one from yesterday, the t-shirt that I did, which was really fun. I have to get that posted in the marketplace because I'm thinking maybe people might want to buy those. 20 bucks is not a bad deal for a t-shirt that's custom made to the, whatever, um, colors you want. I think that's a pretty good deal. You can choose whatever, whatever truck you want, whatever color truck you're, the guy in your life might have. Alrighty, so now I'm going to turn this like this. Make sure my hands are cleaned off. All right, I want to do this stamp in black because even though black is going to be dramatic, I think the black is going to work with that vintage-y kind of French material fabric kind of look. We'll see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. That needs to be cleaned out. This needs a cover. And where's my black? Come on. All right. Here's the black. And we're almost done. We are almost done. Thanks, you guys, for sticking around. It took a little bit longer today. Yesterday was a little longer, but I went uh, live earlier yesterday. So we'll see. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, why did I take that one and not my multi tool? I don't know. There. Multi dual. All righty. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Don't want to get it on his little beak. Okay, there we go. And and I don't know if you can tell that this area here, these are words. These are little French words in script that are just written across. And I guess it's supposed to have the appearance that the stamp there and the words are underneath the leaf and the bird. That is the illusion. Okay, so... A little bit of letters in here that I want to get. I find this a very relaxing. It's very, um, keeps you focused, keeps your mind off of things because you want it to look nice. So you're concentrating on the project at hand. And the ways of the world, the worries of the world are off of your shoulders when you are working with Chalk Couture. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. You see how this little tool gets in there? Now I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that um, none of it is bleeding into one another. I can't really tell because... Normally, this other paste is not there, but I can't really see where the transfer ends and where it begins, like over here by its little tail. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best. Okay. Now, just these letters that say bonjour. And every time I hear the word bonjour, I think of Beauty and the Beast. When Belle is going into the town and they all are saying bonjour to her. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. Anybody know the next line? 
I know the next line. I don't know the whole song, but I know the next line. There goes the baker with his tray like always. The same old something left to sell. That's all I know. Okay, this is starting to dry up here, so we want to get that peeled off very quickly. <clears throat> I'm going to take a small squeegee here and do this one a little faster. There we go. And we are good to go. I don't know. We'll have to see. Did it work? Fingers crossed. Okay. Let's see what she looks like. It looks like what I want it to look like. How cute is that? I love it. Put this in the water bath over here. All right, what do you guys think? A little bit of water on my hands. I don't want to see it. I think it's looking really good. I love it. I really do love it. Very, very cute. Very nice, very detailed. I'm, I'm excited to do it also in the monochrome with one color. I'm excited to do that too. But I think I like the way it looks. I think it's detailed enough, but not too detailed so that when it rubs, uh, kind of goes together, it goes into one another, it looks cool. It doesn't look like it's a mistake. I am very happy with how this came out. Very, very happy. I'm wondering if I'm going to put this in the bathroom. I hope you guys, ah, oh, look at that. How fun, how fun, how fun. All right, there you go. There's a close-up look. Looking at it this way, it looks very, very cute. I am very happy. And I like how the transfer itself makes it look just so vintage-y because the little spots that are missing, the way they strategically choose the openings to make it look like that's a real stamp on there. That's very cute. I would, if I were to do it again, I would make the bird a little bit more bold. I don't know that I would do it red or or blue, but I really do. Um, I really do like the way it looks. Alrighty then, bonjour is in the bag. Here we go. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like what you saw, please share it, send it out into the world. Even though I use the bad S word. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the product. If you want to be put into um, the VIP group, my closed group, please let me know and I'll gladly send you an invitation to that and you can take a look at some of the stuff I have going on there. If you think you might want to know more about Chalk Tour as a business, I do sip and chalk parties. I do sip and create parties and events and fundraisers and it's a really cool way to make some extra money. Um, the company is super easy. They don't care how you run your business. You can do whatever you want. It's only $99 to join and um, you get over $200 worth of stuff in your kit. If that would interest you, just, uh, I don't know, just type in there more info. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and sticking by me and have a great, great night.